What's going on everybody? It is time for your Saturday workout class. Now today we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of me building an entire workout for you, you're going to be part of the workout building because this week we have a workout challenge. That's right. It is going to be a challenge rather than a specific build, right? We'll see how many people are actually able to do this. Make sure to comment on the video if you're able to do this. What you're going to need is you're going to need yourself because it's all body weight movements and everybody's favorite. A Disney movie. Any Disney movie that has uh, anywhere between four and five songs, the best option is going to be at least five songs. You got High School Musical is going to be a great one for this. You might be able to do it a couple times if you do High School Musical. You also got, uh, you know, all of the Pixar movies that have great songs in them as well. So whatever the case may be, just find your favorite Disney movie, pick it out, and get it started. How this challenge works is that for every song, you are going to do one movement for that entire song. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna to be tough, right? A song is usually right around two minutes or something like that, two minutes, three minutes. That's a long time to be doing one movement. So, if you need to break during this, take breaks, rest, do what you need to do, but try as hard as you can to do it for as long as you can during that song. The very first movement is going to be push-ups. Now, if you have anybody else watching the movie with you, a sibling, a parent, uh, anyone else who's in quarantine with you, have them help you watch your form. When you do a movement for a long time like this, it, you can have the tendency to start to lose form. So have them help you watch form. Here's some things to watch for in order to make sure you're doing your push-ups correctly. First of all, you want your hands right underneath your shoulders, not necessarily directly underneath them width-wise, but you want them in line with your shoulder. You don't want them back here. You don't want them out here. You want them in line with your shoulder. That's going to be the most advantageous position for your shoulder to move, where it's going to be moving in the, in the way that is actually meant to move. That joint is meant to move that way. So first things first, you're going to be doing push-ups. You all know push-ups. Chest goes all the way to the ground. You come back up. Nice and easy. Now, here's some things to watch for. First of all, I don't wanna see any sagging. This, that isn't it, that doesn't count. Touching your belly button to the floor while your chest is still a foot off the floor, that isn't it. That really is a bad way or easy way to hurt your back, so don't do that. Another way that's cheating is when your buttocks starts coming up into the air. This isn't it either, all right? That right there, that's not what we're doing. Not at all. Again, just kind of throws things out of whack. It's not good for the rest of your body. You want to keep your body in that nice, strong alignment. Now, if you're doing your push-ups and you're saying, whoo, I don't know how many more of these I can do. Rather than stopping, what I would love to see you do is simply modify. So I'm doing my push-ups and I'm going 99, 100. Ah, I got nothing more left in me. I'm going to drop to my knees. 101, 102, 103. All right, now once I get to the point on my knees where I can't keep going, I can keep watching the movie while I do my wall push-ups right here. I'm watching my movie, 199, 200, 201, 202, just keep going as much as you can. Rest when you need to, modify when you need to, try and go the entire song. Movement number two, we are doing grand plies from second position. I found out. I thought it was just the way everybody did a grand plie, but it's second position. So get your feet pointed out slightly. Have them slightly wider than shoulder width. Get a nice strong core, shoulders back, chest up, really, really strong upper body, and then get those ballet arms, right? I just learned today that if you drop a, drop a little water on your shoulder, it should run all the way down. So don't get them too high. Right? Don't get them too low. Right off of your sternum. Touch your sternum. Bring them out. Soft hands. Hide your thumbs. Thumbs are apparently disgusting. Who knew? Put them out there just like so. Nice, strong. Tighten up here. And then you're going down till your butt is in line with your knees. That means you should be flat on top. Come back up. Do it as long as you can. Once again, if you need to modify, all you have to do is go slightly uh, don't go swipe quite as low. So you won't go all the way down in that grand plie. You'll only go that far. Right there. That's okay. That's okay. We're not doing this 
for the sake of the ballet, we're doing this for the sake of the workout and using ballet to work out. So if you need to, if you need to modify right here, that's okay. Just go a little bit higher in that squat. You're done. Movement number three, we are doing crunches. Crunches. This is a great movie watching exercise. Here's my TV. I'm good to go. I'm ready. So you're going to fix your eyes on that TV. That will help to eliminate your neck in this movement so you aren't straining your neck. And then you're just going to come up until you feel your stomach tighten. I don't want you to do a sit up. Nope. Not right now. That's not what we're doing. All I want you to do is a crunch. Feel it contract and tighten. If you can, add a little pause. Up, pause. Beat. 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 Now, to modify this one, super, super, super easy. Stop. That's it. Just stop. Rest. Take a minute. Let your stomach recover. Let your core muscles recover. And then hop right back into it. Now, for the last two movements for this workout, we're going to do static movements. These are going to be very hard to hold for the entire song. If you need to rest, do that. Take your time, maybe a five second rest. Have somebody count out. One, two, three, four, five, and you go right back into it. But rest when you need to. Movement number one, it's everybody's favorite. It's a classic. We're just doing a plank right there. Now for this one, what I want you to watch for, if you have somebody again in the room helping you out, what I want you to watch for, first of all, elbows directly underneath the shoulders. I don't want you up here. I don't want you back here. I want elbows underneath your shoulders, right there. I don't want to see back sagging. No, 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 that isn't it. I don't want to see butts up in the air. That's not it. You have to squeeze your belly button to your spine and really, really tighten up your buttocks because those two things are going to help kind of work against each other and flatten you out. If your belly button isn't getting pulled to your spine, you're probably sagging. And if your butt isn't being squeezed, it's probably going up in the air. So once you're in your plank, squeeze that stuff. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And that should get you a nice flat plank. Try and hold that for an entire song. That'll be a long plank. That'll be a really long plank. And the final movement, everybody's favorite. This one's gonna burn. Wall sits. All it is, you know it. You find yourself a wall, sit down on said wall, and hold. Now to modify this movement, what you're gonna do, modification number one, this is when, you, at first, I want you to be level, knees directly over ankles. First modification, simply put your hands on your legs. That's it, that's all you have to do to modify. Modification two through 72, that's right, all the way up, you just slightly come up. This is about, Level two, level three, level four, level 233, right? Figure out the level you need to do in order to modify the movement so that you can do it for the entire song. That's the challenge today, people. That's it right there. Those five movements, get them done during your favorite Disney movie. You're going to have a rush between each movement because the songs are going to be one right after the another. So you're going to have a little bit of time to catch your breath after that really, really hard song workout. So this week... You have an excuse. That's right. Pull up Disney Plus and tell your mom, hey, my dance teacher said it was supposed to happen. Workout teacher. Anyways, I miss y'all. Hope you're all having a wonderful, beautiful weekend. And we'll see you all again soon. Bye.